Hi, this is Gary. In this options tutorial, I am going to cover how put call parity works, and I'm going to give you an example of how you can use it uh, for arbitrage situations. Uh, to start off, we have a long stock, and by long stock, I mean long 100 shares because a call and a put option are for the right to buy or sell 100 shares and our payoff looks something like this uh, we have our profit uh, and then we have our loss on the left side so we have our profit on the right side and we have our loss on the on the left side and that, that will be a function of uh, what happens to the stock price or the equity price now what we're trying to do in this case is we're trying to recreate a uh, synthetic version of the treasury bill uh, through our arbitrage or through our equation here so I've got long stock and now we want to set we want to get rid of the downside of the loss on the, on the left side of the equation or the left side of the chart here so what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, long put and a long put looks something like this from a profit and loss diagram and what that will do is that will take away our loss our potential loss uh, um, on the stock side so we don't have any downside and then to offset that or to actually get a rate of return we're going to need to have a we're going to need to sell a call option so we're going to be a short call and the call option uh, a short call option payoff would look something like this now if it was a long call it, you'd flip it the other way so we have a small profit if the stock drops and we're stuck with the loss if the stock increases but we have the long stock uh, in this case to offset that and we put that all together and we get the uh, long treasury bill at uh, the risk-free rate now basically what put call parity is is it says that uh, this stuff has to uh, hold true and if it doesn't, uh, there's arbitrage opportunities uh, for that. Now, when I say arbitrage opportunities, I mean uh, after transactions cost, uh, like, for example, the bid-ask spread and uh, broker fees and stuff like that. Now, we have several assumptions of this, or a couple different assumptions in this. And our first assumption in put uh, call parity is that uh, there are no dividends. Now, if, for example, there were dividends, uh, what we would do is we would add the present value of the dividend, and we would put that on the right side of the equation next to the long T-bill. So our equation would look something like this. Uh, long stock plus long put. Uh, plus short call equals long treasury bill uh, plus the present value of the dividend or multiple dividends. Moving back to our original equation with no dividends, uh, there's another assumption here that we have and that is that the options are on the same equity or same underlying stock and they have to have the same exercise price and the same expiration date uh, for this to work. Now, uh, we can rewrite this equation to solve for any specific variable, uh, but what we'll have to do is we would balance out the equation. Um, so let's take a look at an example here. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, Yahoo Finance right here, and uh, I'm going to type in a quote, and I'm going to get uh, Y-H-O-O, -O, and I'm going to hit Get Quotes. Now Yahoo comes up here. Now I'm looking for options. And I'm going to highlight that there. I'm going to click on options. And I am going to scroll down to the bottom here. And I'm going to click on expand to straddle view. Uh, because I like to see both sides of it. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for an example of how uh, we could use arbitrage. Now I'm looking at calls here. And I'm looking at the 17 strike price. And I'm looking at the ones that are expiring right away. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here. Now, if you'll see here, there, uh, there's a bid of 635 and an ask of 640. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with my own example here of how we could hypothetically arbitrage if these uh, call options were not priced correctly. And um, 
For example, let's say these uh, call options are priced at $2 or something close to that. And our model says that they are worth uh, $6 at the moment. Uh, the question is, how can we set up a series of transactions uh, to arbitrage the difference? Well, uh, with equities, uh, in, with anything actually, when you're trying to make a profit, you want to try to buy low and uh, sell high. It's not necessarily a matter of what order that is, but you want to you want to do those things to make a profit. So by buying low, if the options are priced at two dollars and our model says they're worth six, what we're going to do is we're going to buy the actual call option and we're going to have to sell it short uh, to make a profit but if we can only sell it for two on the market um, that creates a little bit of a problem for us so uh, what we have to do is we have to sell short a synthetic call option and what we would do is we would use the put call parity formula uh, to do that I'm going to go back to that page there here now uh, what we want is we want to get the uh, short call and I've got that on the left here we want to know what that is equal to on the equation side well uh, we keep the long treasury bill and then uh, what we're going to do is since we're putting the long stock on the other side of the equation uh, we're going to subtract that so we have long treasury bill minus long stock and then we're also going to subtract the long put in green there uh, so we have short call equals long treasury bill minus long stock minus long put and I'm going to rewrite this as uh, long treasury bill plus short stock plus short put so when we uh, look at this here uh, the short call has a profit loss diagram of uh, I've highlighted in white there where we, we lose more money the, the more the equity price goes up and uh, a short stock in this case uh, we lose money uh, when the price goes up and we make money when the price goes down now a short put on the other hand uh, we, ma we uh, make money when the price goes up and we lose money when the price goes down and what we want to do is we want to recreate the uh, short call so what we're going to do is we're going to take this stock we're going to short it and we're going to short the put and we're going to take those proceeds and we're going to invest those in the long treasury bill at the uh, RFR or the uh, risk-free rate of return and that's going to create our uh, synthetic short call and then in order to profit uh, from this transaction what we'll do is uh, we'll use these transactions to create a synthetic short call uh, which will get about six in proceeds and then we will buy the long call on the open market for two and that is how you would uh, profit uh, from an arbitrage uh, situation there or from a mismatch in pricing keep in mind uh, one of the things that makes arbitrage uh, difficult or not as easy as it looks is you have uh, transactions cost and you also have uh, to cover this thing called the uh, bid ask spread and uh, in derivatives uh, due to uh, sometimes like liquidity issues where there's not a lot of uh, money coming in the spreads can get wider so that can be one of the downsides in the real world but this is uh, an example of how you'd use uh, put call parity uh, for arbitrage thank you for watching